Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make the long awaited movie theatre and not only have I done the outside for this build as you guys can quite clearly see but I have also done the interior which I will give you a brief look at. On the inside you can see that we have a nice little reception area where you can buy your tickets, we have a place where you can buy all of your confectionaries, your slushies and if you're a little bit like me you might want to grab some sweets before the movie starts and then we have some waiting areas we have some movie posters and we do also have the big screen which is through those doors which I'll wait to show you until the actual interior slash exterior video comes out for the movie theater which by the way will be in just a couple of days so do bear in mind that you will be able to find the inside slash outside tutorial that will accompany this one in a couple of days and you'll find it in both the card system and the description below along with a couple of playlists you'll be able to find my real world buildings playlist and I'll also link you to a few other ones that I think that you guys might really enjoy but this is perfect for if you are working on a town or a city. Comment down below what else might you want me to build for your town or city or just in general really let me know what you want me to do also follow me on Twitter you can do the same thing there at TSMC360 but without any further ado this video is probably going to be quite long we should probably start this this tutorial. So if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some sandstone block, some block of quartz, never break, pillar quartz block, red wool, black wool, white wool, yellow wool and some black stained glass block. Plus we'll need everything that we have in the inventory and we'll probably even need more. I'm a pretty forgetful guy so we'll just have to grab stuff as we need it on top of this. But once you have each one of these materials that you'll see here because we'll definitely need all of these and once you've figured out where you want to make it I'm going to be making it right here and do leave quite a bit of room for your movie verta guys because it is quite big. Well what you're going to want to do once you've figure that out is start this build off with a row of nine block of quartz in a row on the floor so that'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine we then want to take this ninth block and extend it towards us by six so that's one two three four five six we then want to take this sixth block and we want to go right of it by one then going right do two glass then do a red wall leave a gap of two and still going right place a red wall then do two glass, then place a red, then place a glass, then leave a gap of one and place a glass, followed by a red, then a glass, leave a gap of one, place a glass, and then a red wool, and then leave a gap, then do two black stained glass, then do a red wool, leave a gap of two, place a red, then do two black stained glass, and then going right do two block of quartz. We then want to go behind that second block of quartz by six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to go right by eight, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to take this eighth block and extend it backwards, and this isn't gonna be fun. We wanna extend it backwards by 39, yeah, 39. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Boom. We then want to take this 39th block and we want to extend it coming all the way across the back of the movie theater. So the idea here is it saves us a lot of counting because we're going to extend this all the way over to the right until it matches roughly with where we very first started. We've actually overshot that probably by about two blocks there. And what we then want to do, once it roughly lines up, we want to take this very first block of the movie theater, we want to extend it backwards and we just want it to connect to where we were just building and we'll end up with something that should hopefully look a little something like oh boom dead on that should look a little something like this and this is pretty much the floor plan of the theater and this is how big it is you can see that it's a pretty decent sized theater so once you've got that taken care of we can then then work on some of the more specifics because like i said there's the floor plan so what we now want to do is the front 
we want to take each one of these red walls that we have at the front and we want to add an additional red wall on top of them. Well, actually two additional red walls. So that'll be one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on and so forth. So you want to add two additional red walls on top of each one of those red walls. You then want to connect the end two red walls together. So the two red walls on the left and the two red walls on the right together. And you want to connect each one of the three middle red walls together like this. What you then want to do is you want to take out your black stained glass block and you want to increase the size of each one of those black stained glass blocks where you can buy two so they want to come up as high as the red and as you can see of course like some of the glass blocks the ones in the door especially of course um, you can only increase those so high. What we now want to do is we want to take out the sandstone and we want to, on the very front of this build, we want to have two rows of sandstone on top of each one of those quartz blocks like that. So the two quartz blocks on the left and the two on the right add two layers of sandstone. You then want to add two layers of sandstone directly on top of what you've just made. So add two additional layers of sandstone, so that's one, and two directly on top of the entrance. So that'll take a second or two, won't it? Let's, let's do that. Perfect. We then want to add a layer of red wool on top of the sandstone, and what we're currently making now, just in case you're curious, is we are going to be making the sign, the theatre sign. We then want to take this very left hand red wall block. So go up on top of this block by six with your red wall. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then take this sixth block and extend it to the right. And you want to extend it to the right until it is even with the very opposite end of that row. Connect it down and you will form yourself a nice rectangular shape. What you then want to do is take each one of the four corners of that rectangle and extend them out in front of your movie theater by four with your red wall that's one two three four and one two three four and the opposite two corners as well of course that's one two three four one two three four and then we want to connect them all together so we can connect them up and down and we can connect them left and right and what we're going to have here in the end is we're going to have a nice big 3d rectangular shape so we just want to connect all of these together and they'll end up looking a little or something like that. Great, the sign's really coming along. What we now want to do is we want to, on top of this sign, we're going to fill it in with pillar quartz block. These are going to be long rows of pillar quartz that go from left to right. We don't want them like facing us like this way. We want them coming across, just because I think it looks a little bit better. Not that you're often going to be able to see the top of this unless you fly around in creative mode a lot or unless you have some like high buildings surrounding this, but it really does look a little bit better like this. So even if you're not going to be seeing it that much, why not? Once you've got that taken care of, on the left and right hand sides here, we want to have a layer of yellow wool at the bottom and the top here. And we then want to have pillar quartz block um, in the middle. And the pillar quartz block wants to be sideways like this, not vertical. Also do the same on the opposite side. So we're over here, yellow wool at the bottom, yellow wool at the top, pillar quartz in the middle, just bridging the gap. So facing this direction. Great. Now, let's talk about the front of the sign, which is by far the hardest part of this. So, we're going to start this in the top front left-hand corner of the sign. So, we want to be where this top front left-hand corner empty space is. Going right at this red wall, we want to do three black wall. One, two, three. Take that center T, or the center block, and extend it all the way down, and that will form a T. We then want to take the very top right hand corner of the T, we want to go right of it by one the yellow wall, and then we want to place a black. Connect that black wall down to the bottom, then take the center of that row, which is this block, extend it right by two, and then take that second block, extend it up and down um, until you connect to the top and the bottom. You then want to take the very bottom of the, t of the H and you want to extend it to the right by one the yellow wall. We then want to have a row of black next to that that goes from the bottom to the top and then we want to take the bottom, top and middle blocks and extend them all to the right each by two to form an E shape. We then, going right of the E, want to place a yellow wall 
and then we want to have yet another long row of black wool that goes from the bottom to the top and we want to take this top block we want to extend it right by two then connect it downwards to form well it looks like an like an n at the moment but we'll then take the middle block connect it together and that will form an a then going right of the a right at the top right hand corner of the a we want to place a yellow wall go right by three of the black that's one two three then take the center black wall connect it downwards and there you have your second t well once you have your second t you want to take the top right hand corner block of the t go right by one the yellow then go right by through the black that's one two three you then want to take the first black wall connect it all the way down then take that block that touches the ground go right by two then take the center block and also go right by two like that you then want to take the very top right hand corner of the e you want to go right by one the yellow then go right by through the black that's one two three then go down by one then do a bottom left diagonal then a bottom right diagonal go down by one take the very first black wall block that you placed connect it down to the ground and there you will have an R then take out your yellow wall do a border of yellow that goes all the way around the inside of this shape so you just want to have a yellow wall block where you can mind you all the way around the inside of this shape so you want to have something which should look like this you then want to have pillar quartz all the way in between and the pillar quartz wants to run in rows going from left to right and it just wants well you can see how it wants to look it's basically a follow on from the side of the sign you know how the side of the sign has the same sort of pattern um that's basically what this is and it gives you a very nice vibrant bright looking theater sign which should look a little bit like this so you want to have something which should look like that and once you've got that taken care of, we can then move on to the next bit. So, well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, you want to come all the way to the top back two corners of your theatre sign, and you want to take out your never break. Take these top two corners and extend them backwards by six with your never breaks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the opposite corner as well. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then connect those down to the ground with a row of sandstone like this. They should connect to the two front corners of your build like so. Uh, if you like, just for the sake of it, you can fill in this wall with uh, with uh, sandstone on the left and right hand side of the entrance. You can just fill these two walls in with sandstone and you'll get a good idea of how big the building is going to be because um, this building comes in two parts. It has like the lower half and it has the upper half. So I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. But we want to have something which should look like that. What we now want to do is on top of those very same never brick blocks that we like connected down to the base of this build well we want to go up on top of those never brick blocks with our sandstone each by nine so this left one and the right one over there that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and then by the way you can place a never brick on top of them and if you like you can then just extend that never brick all the way over to the right until it is hovering above the block that we actually want to connect it down to like there and then we can raise that up with the sandstone and that that just saves us counting out anything right there well once you've got that taken care of what we now want to do is we want to add the windows into this upper half so we want to take this very first sandstone block that we just placed here and we want to go right of this sandstone block by two one two and then we want to go up by one and then we want to go up on top of this with the glass by five that's one two three four five you then want to take this layer of glass and go right of it by two so that's one and two extend it to the right then do a layer of sandstone and then do three layers of glass that's one two and three like that and then once you've got that taken care of, you actually want to do the same thing on the right. So coming to the right here, we want to take this bottom corner sandstone block. We want to go left of it by two. That's one, two. We then want to go up by one. We then want to go up by five with the glass. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We then want to go left of this layer of glass by two rows. So that's one row and two rows. 
We then want to go left by one layer with the sandstone, and then we want to go left by three layers with the black stained glasses. One, two, and three. What we can now do is we can connect the bottom and the top of this upper half of the theatre together and we want to connect it together with a layer of sandstone and plus we can also fill in this shape that we have with sandstone. This will take a moment or two because it is actually a pretty large area and this is actually going to be one of the more complicated parts to explain over and done with once we have finished with this. So once we do actually have this taken care of, this part right here, which is a little bit finicky and fiddly and irritating to explain to be honest with you, um, we will then be able to make the big giant bu bucket of popcorn that we have that is just resting on the top front of the theater. And then we will be able to make the rest of the build, which takes a while as well. But then once that's done, that's all of the hard stuff. I mean, we, we don't have that much hard stuff left to do. So we want to have something which should look a little bit like that. That is nice and easy, isn't it? Well, once you've got that taken care of, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you want to do next. So, um, this bit's a bit tricky to explain, but hey, we're going to have to do it, aren't we? So, take out your red wall, and you want to come all the way over to this right-hand window on the left-hand side. You want to be in line with this top right-hand corner block of the glass. You want to move it down by one, and then you want to move right by two from this glass. It's one, two. Place a red wall. You then want to take that red wall and you want to extend it forwards by five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to extend that to the right by eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then connect that to the opposite side of the theater. So you should see that it should connect to the opposite part of the theater there. We now need a new material. We can get rid of, let's say, uh, let's get rid of block of quartz for a bit and grab yourself some, uh, we'll need our red stained clay. We want to take the two front corners of this shape that we've made and we want to extend them down each by three. So that's one, two, and three. And then one, two, and three, like that. We then want to fill in this bucket of popcorn like this. So, coming to the very left-hand side of what we've made, this very first red wall, we want to extend this downwards by three with the red. So, that'll look like one, two, three. We then want to go right of this, and we want to do a layer of white. And then a layer of red stained clay. And then a layer of white. And then we want to do a layer of red stained clay. And then coming round the front, going right of this layer of red wool, we want to have a layer of white wool, then a layer of red stained clay, a layer of white wool, clay, white, clay, and white. Moving through to the opposite side, we want to have the same pattern. So we'll have a layer of red stained clay, a layer of white wool, a layer of red stained clay, a layer of white wool, and then a layer of red to connect to the back of the theater, like so. What we now want to do is we want to, inside the bucket, bucket of popcorn, we want to take the bottom two front corners here, and we want to, inside of this, we want to do a red stained clay, so like the bottom two front corners. We want to extend those down each by two, so there's one, two, and this will be one and two, like that. We now want to administer a similar pattern, so we want to connect these together with this pattern. It's a layer of white, and then a layer of red stained clay. Then white, red stained clay, and then white. We then want that same pattern to connect to the back of the theater, so white, and then clay, and then white, and then clay. And on the opposite side, the same thing here, so we just want the white wall, followed by the red stained clay, white, and the red stained clay. And um, there you have pretty much your bucket of popcorn. Except it is missing one thing, right? I'm not crazy. It's missing the popcorn. Unfortunately, we can't make the popcorn out of sandstone, which is my preferred popcorn using block. We have to use yellow one. 
So, this bit is kind of up to you how you want to do this. There's no set guide to this. So, I'm first of all just going to start out with like a U-shape of yellow wool on top of the inside of the popcorn. And now I'm just going to add another layer of yellow here. And then I'm just going to kind of like pick at this a little bit. So, actually I won't pick at that first. Like, I'm going to kind of just like pick at this and I'm going to add like, I don't know, like random yellow walls about the place. And then I'll probably like fill the top of this thing in. And I'll add some other like random popcorn like here and about. And it'll just look a little something like that. I actually don't like that shape so I'll just, I'll just amend that a little bit. I, what I don't like about it is that bit and maybe that'll look a little bit better and that looks a little bit better that looks a little bit more like popcorn obviously you can mess about with that and you can kind of like tailor that to um, how you actually want it to look you might have to like come inside the popcorn a little bit you might have to uh, do it that way but um, just mess about with the popcorn until you're happy with it basically is the moral of this story and you will eventually be happy with it. Um, I don't think that I'll actually be happy with this until I, I mess about with it quite a lot more. But, I mean, that'll do for now. You can hopefully... I will destroy that block as well. You can hopefully tell that that is a bucket of popcorn. I hope. I mean, it's on top of movie theater and it's in, it's in that bag. So I'd hope that you guys can tell what that is. But if not, just mess about with it until, to you, it actually does look like popcorn. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what we're going to do next. So, just below the popcorn, we're just going to add a little bit of an area here. So, we're going to add a layer of sandstone here. Um, at the very back just underneath the popcorn we're going to add a layer of sandstone that connects the left and the right hand side together like this just right at the back we're going to add that same layer of sandstone right at the front like this and once you've added your sandstone what you want to do is you want to add a layer of black stained glass to the front and the back so add a layer of black stained glass at the front and at the back so you are very very slowly kind of just controlling um, how much space you have here and then get rid of the red stained clay we don't need that anymore for a bit and then grab yourself some sea lanterns and then throw a row of sea lanterns in between here and this will actually you'll be able to see the inside of the popcorn and stuff from the inside of the theater which I think is kind of cool and if you wanted to something that you could do is you could like place a little Easter egg in the bottom of the popcorn box if you wanted to actually I might do that now I've just I've just thought of a pretty decent idea let me show you I mean admittedly it's not a fantastic Easter egg but I do like to put little things in my builds that just little secrets that not everybody will notice so as you look up as you come into the theater you might just see this little mini enderman poking out of the bottom of the popcorn box which i think is pretty cool so you might want to add something similar or just leave the glass there it's completely up to you but i think that that's kind of cool well once you've got that taken care of uh, the next thing that we're going to have to do is add a just a couple more details to this place so um mainly on the front left and right of the entrance here we're going to want to add two movie posters to make the movie posters we actually need some uh, more materials um we can get rid of like yellow white and uh, red for a little bit and we'll need some paintings we'll need some polished and insight you know what we'll also need some dark oak fence get rid of the glass grab yourself some glowstone and get rid of the black wool and we'll need some wooden buttons and we want to take the four center blocks on each one of these sides so on like the left and right hand side here and you want to place a row of sandstone on top of the four center blocks and then place a layer of uh, a layer of polished andensite on top of the sandstone i've done a pretty bad job of it because i've accidentally just placed the uh, the fence instead but on top of the layer of sandstone place a layer of andensite you then want to take each end of the andensite and extend it up by three that's one two three and one two three connect it together at the top do a layer of pillar quartz in between the andon sites. So you now have like a 4x4 square of pillar quartz. Place a painting in there. Preferably the painting is a 2x2 painting and it is going to serve as a movie poster. And that is great. That's an excellent movie poster. Place a button in each one of the four corners of this. Like that. What we then want to do is we want to add a layer of free sandstone on top of the poster. That's one, two, and three. 
We then want to take the top two corner blocks and we want to place two dark oak fence coming down from the blocks. It's one, two, one, two. Take the second block, extend it outwards by one with the fence. Place a glowstone underneath like this and this is just kind of like illuminating the movie poster um that's the left one why don't we tackle the right one so the right one very very similar basically the same we want to take out the sandstone and place a row of four sandstone on top of the four center blocks place a row of polished andesite on top of that on top of the left and right blocks place three polished andesite there's one two three one two three connect them together and then do a layer of pillar quartz block inside of this like that. Place a painting on top of the pillar quartz. That's great. Preferably, like I said, a 2x2 two two painting. Place buttons in each one of the four corners. I like the wooden buttons. Then add a layer of free sandstone on top of the painting. Then do two fence coming down from each one of the two corners. Take the lower fence, extend them outwards by one and then place a glowstone coming down from each one of those fences, like this. And there you have the movie poster on the left and right hand side. What are we going to be doing now, you might be wondering to yourself. So, this next bit is a bit boring, but necessary because we have to build the theatre. So, what we're now going to do is we are going to take the never brick that we have right at the beginning. So, can you see the never brick that kind of like cuts the movie theatre in half? Well, we want to take these never bricks, and these never bricks want to kind of like trace along the shape of the movie theatre. So, that is actually isn't doing it. So, we want these never bricks to trace along the movie theatre. So, we want these never bricks to basically just hover around the shape of the movie theatre. And we want to have a layer of never brick that goes all the way around the base of it. Like, an easy way to keep on top of this is to connect the never brick down to the corners of the theatre. So if you want to do that at each one of the four corners, and there's actually a few more than four, um, if you want to, like, connect it down to the corners with a layer of sandstone, then you can. But um, you would basically just want a layer of never brick that is parallel to the layer of quartz that you have at the base of the theatre, if that makes sense you can see that we're just building up the walls so if uh, if you end up with something like this you've done pretty well you guys know what I'm talking about so we basically just want to establish like where the walls are here like that what you then want to do is you want to take the top two corners here of the upper part of the theater and you want to take the top two corners of Neverbrick and you want to extend those corners back until it comes to the very back of your movie theater. So, like, we want to come all the way to the back here, and then we want to connect them down with your sandstone block, like this. And we want to have the same thing on the right-hand side. So, we're just establishing where the building is. Basically, that's all we're doing. We're just establishing where the building is, like the shape of this thing. And once we've established the shape, we can then fill it in, because that process is incredibly easy. It's, it's just a case of one material, pretty much. So, you can see that we've now established what the shape of this movie theatre actually is. You can see the upper half and the lower half. Let me explain. So, we can now take out the Neverbrook stairs, and we can take out the sandstone. And if you want to do this, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it because movie theatres are supposed to be dark. So, the walls of this are going to be filled in with sandstone. That is the entire lower half, and we'll also fill in the walls of the upper half. The roof of this, which I've neglected, we'll need never brick for, and the roof of this is going to be filled in with never brick. So, like, the roof on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, and the top, all never brick, and the walls will be sandstone. What you also want to do, however, is you want to go around your never brick and you want to have a layer of upside down never brick stairs and that's everything i don't know whether it'd be better to just show you what it's supposed to look like once you've filled it in but i think that that's probably going to be better so i'm going to be back in a second once i've actually done what i'm talking about because it'll be easier to see than explain anyway i'll be back in a second by the way this is going to take a really long time. I'll probably be back in like 20 minutes. So this is what your theatre will look like once you've completely filled in the walls and the roof. 
Um, the walls are very simply just sandstone. You build those up until you hit the never brick. Uh, then you fill in the top of the roof with your never brick. Both of them, well, actually all three of them, since the first roof is split into two halves, so all three of them you fill in with never brick. And I would also go around each one of the parts of the roof with never brick stairs. However, I would not extend those stairs forward here so that it's coming towards the sign because that will disrupt the aesthetic of the sign a little bit. I would simply just have it going around like the rectangular part of the theater, the back part. I wouldn't have it come out and meet the sign, but that's. That's what it will look like, and that will actually probably take you the better part of 20 minutes, as I've just found out. That that took me roughly 20 minutes, so that'll take a really long time. But this tutorial is almost done. The only thing that I'm going to do now, and this is to set up for the next part of this video, is I'm going to take out my red wall, and I'm going to take out my red stained clay. I'm going to add a layer of red stained clay underneath the entrance so the line of the entrance I'm going to have a layer of red stained clay underneath each one of the doors and the glass and any sort of vis visible block I want to have a layer of red stained clay so I'm just going to add a layer of red stained clay underneath the entrance and something else that I'm going to do before I do leave out this tutorial is I am going to add a layer of red wool inside the entire theater. Yeah, it's going to take a really long time to do, but I'm going to take the entire inside of the theater and I'm going to add a layer of red wool as the carpet. So just to let you guys know, that's what's going to happen and that's what I'm going to be doing before the next video. So I'm actually not going to do this. I'm going to leave the video off after adding now just the red stained clay. And I am going to be adding a layer of red wool before the next video. So if you do want to go from this video directly to the next video, I'm going to add a layer of red wool directly inside the entire flooring of the theater. But that's the theater completely done for now. That's like the actual building of the theater. That is absolutely everything. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. I hope you do. I spent quite a bit of time on the theater. It's actually one of the harder things that I've had to build. It's it's pretty difficult to get a decent looking unique movie theater, but I think that I've actually managed to do it quite well. So if you do like this video, please give this video a like. I'd really appreciate it. I honestly would. Um, please comment down below. Let me know what I should make next. And don't worry, you don't have to comment for the interior slash exterior tutorial. That will be coming probably in two days. I'm recording this as of Wednesday. This will get posted on Wednesday. I will probably post the interior slash exterior tutorial on the Friday. So that's in two days. Don't worry, it will show up. Let me know what else I should make though, whether that be a city build or just a build in general. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360. Check out the card system, check out the description below. Not only will you find the upcoming future tutorial of the inside slash outside tutorial, but you will also find my real world buildings playlist, which will house just loads of stuff in there. You'll probably really love it. If you're building a city, then check out the card system in the description below. You'll find loads of stuff that will that will just help you out in the meantime once you've built this. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.